I came to Kalamazoo Valley Community College in 1974 because Dr. Lake called Dr. Fonz and said, you know, I have all these male administrators. I need a woman. And he said, well, I've got Marilyn. Why don't you interview her? So I came out and interviewed and became assistant dean of general studies at Kalamazoo Valley Community College in 1974. Four years after that, I became executive dean and then president. Dr. Lake set a solid foundation for the community college. But after we got into it, we saw opportunities that we could build on that foundation. And one of those first opportunities was putting a presence in downtown Kalamazoo. One of the reasons that we decided to go downtown was that we got a lot of complaints that this campus was situated on the farthest western side of the county. And we thought if we had a downtown presence, we could address two populations. One, those who were working downtown, and two, those who lived on the far eastern side of the county. Kalamazoo Valley Community College was a part of the parking structure on South Street, and we were growing out of that space. And we said to ourselves, how do we expand, and how do we do it in partnership with others? The Kalamazoo Valley Community College involvement in the Arcadia Creek project was really a sound collaboration with the entities. It would take all of us to make it happen. Once we built the new campus, we saw people moving in downtown. We saw uh, more economic development. We saw the opportunity that people were able to visualize what downtown Kalamazoo could be then we were asked to assume responsibility for the Kalamazoo Valley Museum at that time, the Kalamazoo Museum, and we passed a millage and built a wonderful new facility to uh, make us aware of our history through artifacts, through programming, through inserting itself into the community with lectures, seminars, etc. People can go to that museum, they can bring family and friends, they can bring visitors, and they go into a first-class museum, and there they can enjoy the different kinds of programs that we deliver, and they can do it for free. In 1992-93, um, we became aware that the property across the street was owned by the state of Michigan, and the state wanted to sell it and we were able to purchase that. At the MTEC, or the Groves as we call it now, we have several different programs. We have the Law Enforcement Academy, we have Patient Care Academy, we have the WinTech program, which is probably one of the most intense programs anywhere in the country for WinTech training. And our goal is to meet the needs of our community through specialized training depending on their demands. Many students go through high school or even go into a, the job market and then they find that the world is changing very, very rapidly and that they need a different set of skills. The Center for New Media really came out of the whole concept of what's happening worldwide in terms of computers and it was evident that some students weren't interested in programming, they weren't interested in networking, they were interested in gaming, they were interested in uh, digital photography, they were interested in a whole new way of expressing themselves uh, through an electronic mode. Our goal was to help them see that, they, yes, this was a possibility and we were here to help them see that. About three or four years ago, it was suggested that maybe we needed to look at some new programming uh, in the whole area of sustainability and food to integrate food into the community as an economic development arm, but more importantly, as a health commitment. The whole issue of sustainability and food are an important part of young people today. Where does their food come from? Is it healthy? What properties does it have, etc.? So we put our heads together and we said we're going to build in downtown Kalamazoo. Bronson Hospital gave us almost 14 acres. And we said we're going to use food as medicine. 
that we're going to grow it. Our chefs are going to be part of the growing. Then taking them into the community kitchen where they have to demonstrate what they've learned and learn how to cook it. So our goal is to, with Community Mental Health and Bronson Hospital, demonstrate that food as medicine does make a difference. Kalamazoo Valley Community College has always been a comprehensive community college. We were established in 1966 and we had our first class in 1968. And to think about how this college started with a flatbed trade coming in with the buildings, the introduction to a class that was larger than it was anticipated, our growth which I think demonstrates that people feel confident in what we're delivering. I feel that we do take pride in having community in our name, Kalamazoo Valley Community College and that this 50th anniversary is a celebration of the community's commitment to us and our commitment to the community.